Hello when monthly event is over in Red Dead Online, as you can see there are no Halloween call to arms maps anymore, new telegram mission in false hopes and prophecies is also gone and the most importantly Halloween Pass 2 was removed from Red Dead Online and it was not replaced by some other retuning Outlaw Pass, no, there is nothing. So in November we will have just pretty standard for 2022 Red Dead Online's monthly event with just bonuses and discounts. And as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, not with the bonuses and discounts that you've been asking for, because yes, we have a month of a naturalist role in Red Dead Online the most hated role in this game and yes we have bonuses and discounts for it enjoy harriet you happy now anyway before i'm gonna tell you about bonuses discounts and three limited offer clothing that i found so far in a game let me mention something this year we received almost no new content in red dead online no new cosmetics nothing we received only few new telegram missions and in october we received three new call to arms maps for Halloween and another one Halloween Skeleton Telegram mission in False Hopes and Prophecies. Pretty good one in my opinion, but you know what's weird? This new content stayed in Red Dead Online for only two weeks, I'm repeating. Most of the new content that Rockstar added to Red Dead Online in 2022, they added for two weeks only. It really looks like a weird decision, but even more, you know, they returned back Halloween Pass 2. And in my opinion it was a pretty smart move, because by doing pretty much nothing they are earning some extra money, because most players never had the chance to purchase any Halloween Pass or Outlaw Pass in general, but not only they are making some extra money, but also they are making players happier, because you know Outlaw Pass is a fun stuff. But anyway I thought that there is a chance that in November Rockstar will do the same and will bring back some of the older Outlaw Passes also to make some money and make beginners at least happier, but no, no new outlaw pass, nothing. But anyway, let's see what we have instead, how Rockstar tries to encourage players to play Red Dead Online and maybe even spend some money on a gold bars. First of all, discounts, and most of them are related to naturalist troll or naturalist update. For example, elephant rifle, this weird weapon that is almost useless but kinda fun to use at the same time and it was added in the naturalist update now you can buy it with a discount or advanced photo camera again it's not a part of a naturalist role but it was added in naturalist update and you can buy it now with a discount or improved bow oh wait there is a discount on a regular bow for some reason. I guess they just forget which one they added in a naturalist update. It was two years ago after all. Now there is a discount on different meat and it's a weird one, like no one ever buys meat anyway, it's so much easier to hunt and cook meat, but you know, there is a discount. So hurry up, reinstall the game, you can buy prime beef joint for $5.50 only. Next discount is on a fishing rod and all the lures, this one is fine for beginners, because fishing helps to level up health bar. Now let's move to the naturalist roll discounts. Roll itself first of all, you can buy it for 15 gold bars and it's a 10 gold bars cheaper. I still don't suggest you to purchase this roll before you will buy all other rolls and level them up, unless there will be some big, let's say triple payouts for naturalist roll this month. We will find out about this only from a Rockstar Newswire when it will be posted later in the evening, and yes, I'm pretty sure that there will be some extra payouts for this roll, but unless they are significant, okay, maybe not triple, but at least double payout, then other rolls will be a better a choice for beginners just because they are more profitable. Now pretty much everything that you can buy from Harriet goes with a discount as well, tonics, pamphlets and most importantly wilderness camp. If there is something useful in a naturalist role, it's a wilderness camp. 
because you can purchase additional pamphlet that fans and fast travel from your wilderness camp at any point. It's a really, really useful feature for high levels. And by the way, animal transformation pamphlets don't have a discount for some reason. I guess it's because no one buys them anyway. Gus offers discount on trinkets and again it's a good purchase but not for beginners. Beginners should spend their money on something more important for low levels like new weapons or ability cards. There is also a discount on two cheapest outfits for the naturalist troll. At stables you will find a discount on a foxmoor saddle, it's a saddle for the naturalist troll, and on all gypsy cobs. And as always if you like how this horse looks go ahead and buy it. It's a pretty good one and with a good saddle you will have no problems at all. Also all ponchos, pants and shoes you can purchase with a discount. Additionally there is a free community outfit that looks like this and all parts of it you can claim for free including some limited offer clothing returning to Red Dead Online like Hopeman West and tight pants. I might be wrong, but I believe it's for the first time Rockstar gives away for free limited offer clothing, which you know is a good idea. Unfortunately so far it looks like the only good idea in a November's Red Dead Online monthly event. Because we are moving to the bonuses and here what I found is double money and experience on horse races, not even gold, and should I tell you that this bonus is absolutely useless. I mean horse races are not good for making money even with triple payout on gold, just because they are too short and since Red Dead Online has a stupid payout system based on the time that you spend in each activity, in many races you will not earn gold at all just because you know 3 times more than a zero is still zero. Additionally horse races are not that fun because most people are either staying afk or just riding around and and shooting everyone instead of doing objectives. So this bonus is nothing at all. I haven't found any other bonuses, but I'm pretty sure that there will be some additional payout for the naturalist role. And you know what's weird here is that since the last update in Red Dead Online, last patch that we received, naturalist role was broken, just like stables, and I'm pretty sure it was not fixed. So Rockstar is adding bonuses and discounts for the role that is broken for a long time. I mean, I hope that I'm wrong and they, you know, somehow fixed the issue, but there was no patches, they were doing nothing with Red Dead Online according to info from SteamDB, so I'm pretty sure that all these bugs are still in the game, including the bug with the naturalist role. So it looks weird, definitely not like a bonus that will make a lot of players happy. But who knows, maybe there are some other hidden bonuses and extra payouts that we will find out only from a newswire when it will be posted. Maybe even something good like good payouts for blood money missions or opportunity missions. But so far this monthly event looks like a pretty bad one. Like really bad one. But it's only my opinion, let me know what do you think about this monthly event in Red Dead Online in the comments. And if you are a beginner, I'm reminding you that I have a pretty good solo step-by-step -step guide for Red Dead Online on my channel, now you can see it on your screen. With that being said, thank you for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.